Jimmy, what do you know about Will Virginia? Uh, oh, no, I've played a bit of rugby against him. Uh, I played a bit uh, against him in the Super 14, and you know, I seen his game against the South Africans uh, two weeks ago. So he, he's a pretty sharp individual. You know, he had a good game in that first test, but you know, it's his first test, so yeah, he's still a lot of water to go on the bridge yet. And, um, yeah, we'll see how good he is this week. What sort of a player is he? What have you noticed in your analysis of him? Oh, he, he's got a good all-wearing game in general. Um, yeah, he passes very well. Um, he's quite sharp on his feet. And uh, he's just sitting just there. He's got a kicking, kicking game too. So um, he brings a good skill set to the table. So um, he's obviously a threat for, for us and someone uh, something someone we've been looking at. When you come up against a guy like that that you don't know much about, is that invigorated rather than the guys that you've played against a lot? Oh, uh, I wouldn't say invigorating, like as I said to um, you guys before, it's gone on the days now where you, you, know, you, you play and you look at your opposing player and try and square off against them. Um, you know, I'm out there to do the best for my team and um, I'm worried about my job, um, let alone what he can do. So as I said, we're worried as a team, as a team structure what he can do, but you know, I, I, I very rarely get caught up in what he can do. Um, I'm, I'm focusing on what I've got to do for the team's sake. Halfbacks are a quite way known to be a little bit flippy. Sure, Gregan's gave you a bit of lip over time. Have you ever given a halfback a bit of lip? Is, is it something that you're, you're not shy of doing? Oh, I'm not shy. I'm not, I won't say I'm shy. I've given a bit of banter, but it's got to be at an appropriate time, isn't it? Um, there's no point getting a bit of banter when you're losing, so um, winning helps that cause, doesn't it? So, uh, as you can imagine, my mouth's been pretty closed to, of late, so um, but no, it's not something I try and get, try and get involved in. Um, as I said, I'm out there to do a job and try and do it to the best of my ability if I go out there and worry about giving people banter and, and carrying all that, you know, it takes, it takes me away from my game. So, as I said, I'm out there to do, do the best I can do for my team. You won't wind them up? You won't wind them up? Oh, not at all, no. no. What's confidence like in the team, given the starts and given the year around? Um, yeah, we're, we're hurting. Um, you know, we're hurting Saturday night. Um, Sunday we're in a sombre mood, so Monday we're a bit like that too. But once once we uh, debrief the game on Monday, um, we try to put it behind us. And, and that's the beauty about this game. It's, it's a week. Um, a week is a long time in rugby. So, as I said, we're hurting Saturday night, Sunday, and even Monday morning. But once we get that debrief out of the way, you know, it's a fresh week and we're looking forward to Aussie. Um, but, that's the thing, we're all trying hard and, and all working hard, but it's just not happening. But um, you know, it's our ownership to try and get out there and try and fix it. Um, it you know, we're not going out there to make mistakes. Uh, it's just the nature of the game and the pressures we can put under. Um, you, know, you, see, you see it, you know, right through sport. It's just the nature of the beast, really. Um, but you know, we've got to do everything we can in our preparation, you know, not to make mistake, mistakes. And, um, Someone's probably been a bit guilty of you know, not doing, doing that to the best of our ability throughout the week, so um, there's been a big ownership on that this week. Thanks, Jim. Excuse me. Go to number eight, .co .nz.